So, yeah, there's Joe and his buddy Mort. Mort seems to be pretty worried, but Joe, Joe's okay. He seems, he seems pretty happy, if anything. What are they? What are they doing? They're sitting, and it looks like they're uh, they're having a conversation. And um, we'll carry on. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, <clears throat> first it starts with Joe um, asking his buddy Mort, "Why so bummed, Mort?" And um, Mort, look, still looking sad, is describing the time he had today. He's he says, "Something my driving instructor said makes me think I didn't pass the test." Uh oh. Oh no. Well, here's a close up of Joe in the next panel. Here, he um. He's really, really happy, and his hat is backwards. How's his eye doing? Uh, it seems to be missing. I, I can only assume though. Um, but he, uh, he, he asks his buddy Mort. Really? What did he say? Uh? Say? Yeah, that, that's a, that's a, a. That can't. Oh, it's a a. And uh, <clears throat> in the next panel, uh, we, we, we got uh, we got Mort, still looking worried. Speaking to his buddy Joe there, Joe seems pretty happy. Oh man, I can't wait to read to see what, why they're so excited. I can't. I, I'm really concerned. I'm concerned, but you know I shouldn't be since Joe seems pretty excited. <clears throat> and in quotation marks, he must be quoting his um, instructor. I he, can only assume. Yes, yes. He uh he said you flunked. <laughs> oh man. Oof. That that appeals to the teens reading these comics. It does. Driving. <clears throat> well, hey, Davey, your uh, fortune is, um, when the student is ready, the teacher will stop flunking him. I'm not sure I understand that fortune. Let's continue. Alright, so, uh, so I see Joe, he's, uh, he's hanging out, hanging out with his pal Mort. They seem to be in a room together. He's a, he's a slice of pizza in the background there. Yeah, teenagers like pizza. I, I think they do. Anyway, Mort, he's uh, he's type type typing away on his laptop computer. He's uh, saying to Joe, with his eyes fixed upon his monitor there, Joe, I'm telling you, I'm talking to your dog in the chat room. Joe, he's skeptical. He's saying, Mort, that's not possible. Anyway, Mort says, I know it sounds crazy, but it's Jake. Who's Jake? Uh, I guess that's that's Joe's dog. Ah. You know, that talking dog. Mm-hmm. Talks the dog. The one I saw. That's right. Speaking of one eye, Joe only has one eye. Anyway, he's saying, you know dogs can't type. Cut to a third panel. And here we got a close-up of uh, Talks the Dog saying, actually, I have a cat do it for me. <laughs> cat's, so. cat's typing away. Yeah. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, but your fortune. Cats are good for computers. They like playing with the mouse. Um. My mom's, she gave me a quarter. She told me to tip the porter. But I ain't tip no porter. I bought some bubblegum. Bazooka, zooka, bubblegum. Bazooka, zooka, bubblegum. Okay. Well, there's two people sitting at a park bench. One is in the shape of Mort, and one is in the shape of, I can assume, is Joe. Should we guess it's Mort and Joe? We should assume, but you know, maybe if we keep reading on, we'll we'll find out who these people are and well, read you know, on, Davey, read on. We'll solve this caper. Anyway <laughs> I'm assuming the first silhouette is Joe is telling his silhouette to buddy Mort The girl I was dating is going out with a basketball player. Man, sometimes I wish I were taller. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Mort Seems to have some kind words to say. Well, I wonder what that could be. Yeah, we'll find out. Hmm, can't help you there, but I can make you shorter, said Mort. Shorter? Yeah, well, well, now we see in the second panel that it is Joe and Mort. Oh, and our it was them all along. Our assumptions were oh, correct. Oh, man, I'm, I'm happy to hear from those guys. I missed them. Well, anyway, Joe seems worried. And he's oh. asking his his buddy Mort, "How can you do that?" <laughs> well, That's you know. What I want to know personally. Mort is reaching out towards his friend Joe, and he is saying, "Hand me ten bucks, and I'll show you." Hmm. Dot. 
dot dot. That's a pause. Ellipsis. Yes, yes, you could say that. In the third panel, there uh, there's Mort looking at that very large ten dollar bill. Wow, that is that's big. That's no U.S. currency if I've ever that's seen. That's far too large to be legal tender in this and country. Joe, Joe himself, he looks confused. He even has a question mark growing by his head. It looks like it hit him. It does. And, you know, he's looking at that $10 bill. You know, before we continue, I can only assume he's shocked at how big of a dollar that is. Should we guess that's what those surprise lines around his head are? Yes, he is shocked. Let's continue reading. Carry on. You're now... Ten dollars shorter. Hmm. Huh. I guess you know I, I get it. I I, I uh, get uh, it. No. no yeah. I, 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 uh, all right. Hey, yeah. you know what? No what? Want to know your fortune? <laughs> Only always. Okay. Well, your fortune is you can't prevent words of so uh, birds of sorrow from flying overhead, but you can avoid the droppings. That's gross, Davy. Let's keep going. Man, I hate this gum. All right, so Mort, he's hanging out with him. I don't recognize this guy. I don't either, Davey. I'm going to call him Rick. Hey, Rick. So Rick, he's pointing to his uh, his headphones. Hmm. He's saying, check out my new headphones, Mort. Now I'm going to listen to my favorite bands anytime. Mm. We That's good gum. Cut to the next panel, and here we see Mort pointing to himself with his thumbs. Oh. He's saying, not bad, Wolfgang. Oh, the guy's name is Wolfgang. Well, He's not know. talking to Wolfgang. He said, not bad, Wolfgang, but I invented my own headphones. More towards some too. We can't really see him from here. Let's get in closer. All right. This third panel here. Oh, man. He's pointing to his headphones, which appear to be made out of um, snail shells. Oh. And uh, Wolfgang, he's slapping himself on the forehead like, don't. <laughs> it looks like it hurt. I know. Mort's saying, I can listen to the sound of the ocean anytime. Like that, you know, listen to a seashell near the ocean. Uh, anyway, David, your fortune is, uh, march to the beat of your own drum machine. Huh. I don't know about that. Hey! Let's visit bazookajaw.com. Collect some cool stuff. Let's go! Oh, yeah! <gasps> David, we need that shirt! What? Fifteen comics? Looks like we gotta chew a lot more gum! Aww.